go home. You're not allowed in this park. I don't like you. Hey, stop that, Cade. Leave her alone. She's just a waste of space. Don't be mean. That is not true. Take it back. No way. I call it as I see it. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That is so not true. Hey, what's going on? Cade is just leaving. I will stay or go wherever I like. No one can tell me what to do. I'm staying right here. Why don't you all leave? I think we will. Come on, Mel. Let's go. Wait. Ali, where is that girl that was sitting under the tree? You mean Chloe? Is that what her name is? She was just here. She must have gone while we were talking. This is my park. I will decide who is allowed in it. I don't like that new girl, Chloe, so she is not allowed here. This is so not your park. Anyone is allowed to come here anytime they like. Come on, let's go, Ali. Cade, oh Cade, hurting others is not the answer to your pain. I am here to guide you, to help you discern and make right choices. But you aren't listening. I love you so much, but the pathway you are choosing right now is not going to end well. How mean Kate is. He always picks on people. He's just a big bully. Poor Chloe. I wonder where she is. She probably just went home. Don't worry about her. She never hangs out with other people. She just stays by herself. I haven't seen her around before. Her family just moved here. They live on my street. And I met her two older sisters. They are really fun. I think she has a little brother too. So, have you met Chloe before? Sort of. She doesn't really say much, and while I was talking to her sisters, she just walked away. Maybe she is shy. I don't know. Maybe. I think there is more to Chloe than we know. I don't think she wants to stay by herself. Anyway, we need to practice for the school musical auditions. La 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 la. God, are you there? Do you care? I feel so lonely. I have no one to talk to. I feel like no one understands me. Mum is happily married now to my new stepdad and too busy with this new family. I think she's forgotten my dad. My new stepsisters, they have each other. And I, I feel like I don't fit. And now that there is a new little brother in the family, oh, I just feel invisible. I can't even go and hide in the park anymore because that boy Kate, he doesn't like me either. God, oh God, are you there? God, oh God, do you care? Oh, this pain I'm trying to hide. I'm hurting deep inside. I've heard your love and care for kids like me. God, oh God, are you there? God, oh God, do you care? Because I don't know what to do. 
How can I get through? Can I trust you? Oh God, do you care? Cause I'm hurting deep inside I've heard you love and care for kids like me God, oh God, are you there? God, oh God, do you care? Because I don't know what to do How can I get through? Can I trust you? Oh God, do you care? Because I don't know what to do How can I get through? Can I trust you? Oh God, do you care? Chloe, I see you I hear you I love you Open your heart to those around you Who are trying to reach you Open your heart and ears to what I have to share with you. I love you so much. Let me help you through those people who are around you. Hey Jack, have you been to the park lately? I was there yesterday playing football with Jono. Was Katie there? I didn't see him. Why? Well, I was there today and he was being really mean to this new girl called Chloe. He said that he was the boss of the park and he will decide who can be there. He's not the boss of the park. I'll keep an eye out next time I'm there. I just don't understand why some people can be so mean. He even made her leave. Hello, you two. Did I hear you say something about someone being mean? Yes, this boy named Cade was picking on this new girl called Chloe. That doesn't sound very nice. Mum, why are people so unkind to each other? Why do people hurt each other? I just don't get it. Tell me why can people be so unkind? Why can they act so mean? It really doesn't seem to be right. What can the problem be? It is so sad, it is so wrong It makes me feel so mad To see somebody act that way It really is not all Tell me why can people be so unkind? Why can they act so mean? It really doesn't seem to be right what can the problem be? Hmm. All very good questions, Mel. Hmm, let me think. It started the day Cade was born. Jack? Well, it started well before that. That book, the book we were looking at the other day. I seem to remember it tells something about this. If I am right, it was the first struggle between good and bad. And that struggle has continued ever since. Can we read the story, please? Yes, of course. This war actually began in heaven a long time ago when Lucifer challenged Jesus. Have you heard of Lucifer before? Hmm, I've heard of the devil, that guy with the pitchfork, and I've seen some pictures. Oh, and I have heard of Satan. Is that the same person? I believe so, Mel. Hang on. Heaven. A place so amazing. Awesome. Wonderful that no words can do justice to explaining how incredible it is. And best of all, heaven is where God, God of the whole universe dwells. In heaven, the angels radiated with light, light flowing from just being in God's presence. 
Across the universe, all created beings dwelt in perfect harmony, joy, and love. The Son of God, Jesus, shared his Father's throne, and around the throne gathered the holy angels, ten thousand times ten thousand, singing songs of praise in their beautiful, melodious voices. Lucifer was an important angel in heaven, holding a high position in God's government. He was extremely intelligent and more beautiful than any other angel. A special light beamed out of him. In fact, only God's Son, Jesus Christ, was above him. As Lucifer thought about this, he started to feel jealous of Jesus. He wanted the honor and glory Jesus was receiving. When all the other angels lovingly bowed down to Jesus, Lucifer also bowed, but his heart had begun to fill with envy and pride that grew into hatred. When God and Jesus had a meeting about things they were planning, Lucifer was upset that he was not included. In his high position, Lucifer was honored by the other angels. He liked how they obeyed and respected him. He looked at how beautiful he was. He thought about how intelligent he was. He reflected on how he loved the attention and honor the other angels gave him. And the more he thought about it, the more he began to desire the same power and honor as God. So Lucifer made a decision. Full of envy and pride, he decided that he would never again bow or submit to God and Jesus. Instead, Lucifer would seek to be equal to God and to replace God, to become God. It was at this moment that the perfect harmony in heaven was broken. Lucifer began to talk to other angels, trying to get them on his side. He told them it was unfair that Jesus had a higher honor than he did. Because Lucifer was loved, admired, respected, many of the other angels listened to Lucifer. He convinced one third of them to turn against God. Lucifer and his followers began an open rebellion. Lucifer and his followers would not submit to the authority of God, and so there was war in heaven. This resulted in Lucifer and his followers being thrown out. Those remaining in heaven were saddened by the loss of their friends. Lucifer refused to turn back from the pathway he had begun. The rebellion of Lucifer was going to be a lesson that everyone in the universe would see for years to come. It would show the terrible results of sin. Sin that began with pride. That is really sad that he went from being the most magnificent angel in heaven to what he is now. Yes, it really is, Mel. What did it say was the cause or start of this in Lucifer? Did it say it was his pride? So it started with pride. Oh, that's where evil began. And possibly part of why Cain might act the way he does? Hmm. Couldn't God have just wiped out Lucifer there and then and stopped this all from happening? I guess he could have. I wonder why he didn't. Another good question, Mel. I'm not sure of the answer to that one. Hey Jono. Yeah, what's up Jack? Mel was telling me that Kate has been picking on kids in the park, being really mean to them. That sounds like something Kate would do. I don't know why he's so mean. Do you think it has anything to do with his pride? His pride? What do you mean by that? Well, we were looking at the book with Mum and she read about Lucifer and how evil began. When someone's pride is hurt, they can react badly. Mmm. Is pride when you feel pretty good about yourself? 
Yeah, I think so. Pride is like a feeling that you respect yourself and deserve to be respected by other people. My dad said he was proud of me the other day when I kicked that last winning goal in our game against Pacific Grove. Yeah, that was a good game. I won't forget about that one. Me either. And I've heard my teachers talking about me taking pride in my schoolwork, which I think means to take care and do my best. And that's a good thing then, right? At least I know my teachers would say so, but... I think if you are too proud, you don't listen to or take advice or correction from others. I guess so. I don't really like it much when someone tells me I need to fix or change something. Me either. I hate it when it happens. I don't like to get things wrong. So pride can be a problem for us too, Jack, if we don't want to listen and take advice. Yeah, you could be right, Jono. I'm going to talk about this to my dad, Jack. Anyway, see you tomorrow. See you, Jono. Hey, Dad. Yes, Jono? Do you know the story in the Bible about the war in heaven and Lucifer rebelled against God? Yes, Jono. That is a sad story. When sin first began. Well, Dad... Jack and I were talking about this today. Do you think it had anything to do with pride? It sure did, Jono. A certain amount of pride is a good thing. Feeling good about yourself, taking care in what you do, that is important. But when you begin to feel that you are better than others, you can be always bragging about yourself. When you don't want to admit when you have done wrong, That is when pride can be a bad thing. And that is what happened to Lucifer, back when sin first entered the universe. Okay, I think I see what you mean, Dad. When Lucifer let pride take over, when he rebelled against God, and what is more, he convinced one third of the angels to believe him and also turn away from God. It was a very sad day. Hmm, so pride can be a problem then. It sure can, Jono. It really is important to take care of yourself. Always strive to do your best and not settle for something less. But do not become boastful or brag of what you do. Do not let your pride control your life. Be respectful. Be courteous. Accept correction when you do wrong. Listen to advice and take it in your stride. Do not let your pride control your life. Be respectful. Be courteous. Accept correction when you do wrong. Listen to advice and take it in your stride. Do not let your pride control your life. Do not let your pride control your life. Do not let your pride control your life. Hi, Mrs. Jones. Oh, hello, Mrs. King. Good to see you again. (laughs) No kids today? How can I help you? I hope you don't mind, but I have a few questions that I am not sure the answer to. We were looking at how Lucifer was once a beautiful angel, But he became very proud and jealous and he rebelled against God. Why didn't God just wipe him out there and then? The quick answer to that question, Sally, is justice and mercy. When Lucifer rebelled against God, the whole universe was in shock. Never before had they seen sin and rebellion. If God has taken Lucifer, Satan, out of existence right there and then, All the angels and people that came after would have followed God out of fear, not love. He has made it clear he wants us to have a choice to follow him. So what you're telling me is that God is a God of love, justice and mercy. God is a God of justice and mercy. It is his great love that the whole universe can see, cause he's always just, he's always right. He's a God of 
goodness and light He wants us to love Him Not through fear of what He'll do But because of His great love for me and you God is a God of justice and mercy It is His great love that the whole universe can see Cause He's always just, He is always right He is a God of goodness and light He wants us to love Him Not through fear of what He'll do But because of His great love for me The pain and suffering that has come from the choices Satan made is still being felt throughout the whole earth and it's being seen by the universe. I too feel the pain and hurt that you all do. This is not what I wanted for any of you. My love for you all is so deep. In time you will see and understand my love and justice for you all. <laughs> 